there's a backyard revolution sweeping the nation. Homeowners are transforming backyard sheds into fantastic spaces. From outdoor bars, to shed and breakfast, to home office shed quarters, there's no limit to what your shed can become. I'm Luke Barr. I'm a he shed master. I'm so happy with this. I'm Sarah Farrell. Bringing all the design. Certified she shedder. Sarah and I are always trying to outdo each other, so we're teaming up with ambitious homeowners across the country to create their dream Whoa, he sheds. This is awesome. And she sheds. Sarah! The possibilities are endless. On this episode, hey! lights, camera, action. Our sheds are all about entertainment. From a movie palace to a recording studio. Are you ready to rock? We're turning tiny sheds into backyard blockbusters. Cool, right? But there's a fine line between a hit and a flop. Chalk this one up to being my biggest challenge yet. What did you guys do? When the curtain comes down, we're hoping for a standing ovation. So the question is, are you ready to shed? Call Luke Barr. Hey, Sarah, how's it going, girl? Hey, buddy. I'm in California. I'm on my way to meet Anna, who really loves the movies. And we are going to turn her shed into a backyard movie theater. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm from Brazil. I live in California with my son and my husband, and I love them. But my house is crazy. OK, whoever this ghost is, buddy, prepare to feel the pain of a lifetime. See what I mean? I would love to have a place that I could relax, watch a movie. I need a she shed. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool, but I think I got you beat. I'm here in Texas, and I'm meeting a guy named Joey. He's a musician, and he works from home, writes from home, and plays at home. So I'm a uh, musician. I need a uh, he shed because my wife works from home. Need a little shed. You know, she loves me, but I'm constantly invading her space with my music. So to be able to walk into my own space and record would be awesome. We're going to turn his backyard shed into his own personal music venue so we can invite his band over and they can jam out in the backyard. You have got your work cut out for you, my friend. Do you see me sweating? I don't see you at all. We're on the phone. Well, trust me, I'm looking at myself and I look good. Uh-huh. Call me back after you've seen this shed. Then we'll see if you're sweating. I'm in Oceanside, California, about to meet Anna. She just purchased a brand new tough shed that she'd like to convert into her own private movie theater where she can stop being mom for a few minutes and just relax. Okay, so tell me about yourself. Me, I have a son, I have a husband. I work every day. Yeah, I clean the house, I cook, I Full calendar. Help, yeah. I want to escape. What do you do to escape? Watching movies. I get that you're in a different reality. Oh, yes. Anna escapes her hectic life by watching movies, which I totally get. What I don't get, however, is why she can't watch movies from inside her home. Block everything else out, you get involved in the story. I get that. Yes. What is that? It drives me insane. He just Yes. Close the door, it just keeps getting louder. Go outside, hurry. All right. That is insane. What a peaceful backyard. I can totally see why you need a place like this. And wait, what is? That's our movie screen. Right now, if we want to watch a movie in our backyard, we need to put the projector on the bar stool, get some lawn chairs. It's OK, but do you want to see the inside? Of course. I want to get my hands on it. Aww. What do you think? All righty. Anna's new she shed is tall and skinny. It looks spacious from the outside because it's two stories, but there's actually not a lot of room to move around inside. It's like someone stacked a phone booth on top of a phone booth. It is tiny. It is. I think the goal here is to utilize the space that you do have. Right. Uh -huh. So up here is just this dead space. If we were very creative, we could finish it out up there, and you could watch movies from up there. I That's love right. that idea. Also, what do you do when you're watching movies? I like drinking a warm coffee when I'm, you know, just sitting there relaxing. Mm -hmm. Are you a popcorn and movie girl? Of course. Who doesn't like snacks? I yeah. think we incorporate in a concession slashed coffee stand. I love it. It's like Anna's hideaway. I want you to picture this. Up here, all this blank space. Right. Cut it out. Insert window. Oh. You're up in your cozy little nook. You're laying up there and you're able to watch a movie on the screen. Fantastic. We'll need to convert her current shed into the ultimate cinema she shed. 
The key is the loft space. We'll install a huge window upstairs so Anna has a clear sight line to our backyard movie screen, turning the loft into a viewing balcony. And we'll mount a TV high on the opposite wall and install custom swiveling chairs so Anna can screen films inside. Finally, we'll create the ultimate snack bar where Anna can make a relaxing coffee and enjoy her favorite treats. With two stories and two screens, this she shed will be the double feature Anna's been dreaming of. We have two weeks and a $10,000 budget. I'm gonna leave now and I'm gonna go get some materials. I'm and on then it. we're like gonna get to work and get going on this. Boom. Today's the day that we start working on my she shed. I'm so excited. I've never done construction before, but I'm here to help. Whatever it takes, I want a place to relax. I'm arriving at Anna's with a trunk full of materials, and we're gonna hit the ground running. Hi! Hi. Good morning! How are you? Mm, so excited! I'm, I'm getting excited to too! Hi, I'm Sarah. This is Larry. Hey. Larry, nice to meet you. Are you helping us today, Larry? I am. I have a ton of stuff for today. Yay. Let's get going. The upstairs loft will house Anna's custom balcony seating, but before we lay down the floor, we first need to build a view. Anna and I are standing outside while the guys from Tough Shed are cutting out the hole for the barn doors on the loft. And really, you can instantly start to see the space taking shape. That's amazing. OK, so when it rains. So there's going to be doors on oh, the outside. I want to see them. Ta-da, look at that. I love it. They are kind of like barn style. Yeah. So when you're up there and you guys are watching a movie on the screen out here, uh -huh. you just open it up. Can I meet there? I'm going to change my address. I'm looking forward to have this thing finished, have my own space, a place where I can get away from my son and my husband. So Sarah's got a head start on Anna's movie She Shed, but I haven't even begun to rock. While Sarah's getting her shed on with Anna, I'm 1,400 miles away in Bryan, Texas, and I'm about to meet Joey, a professional singer-songwriter who needs a he shed to indulge his passion for making music. Joey, hey, man. You? I'm doing well, thanks. All right, welcome. Good to see you, man. <laughs> My wife, Christine. Christine. Nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing? Good. Beautiful home, guys. But why do you need a he shed? This is our shared workspace. And okay. This is my office. This is my desk. Where this is I where you're working. And um, this is Joey's studio. Okay, I am really starting to understand why we really need to get this he shed going for you. <laughs> we gotta fix this. Not just for you. This is really almost more for you, I think, in a sense, to get your, let's call it sanity back at this moment I'm gonna go with, <laughs> and get you your workspace back. So why don't you show me your shed, and you start planning on what you're gonna do with all your free time and quiet. <laughs> How about that? The solution is easy. Joey needs a music he shed that can house his instruments and allow him to jam away all day and night without disturbing his wife. He already has a shed in his backyard, so this should be simple. Well, what do you think? <laughs> he should know. <laughs> wow, OK. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's there. <laughs> so I'd like to say I've worked with worse sheds, but I'd be lying. Chalk this one up to being my biggest challenge yet. Tell me a little bit about your plans. Like, what are some of the key points that you want to have that you really need to have in here? Space to write, space to record, mm -hmm. a space that, you know, if someone's traveling, they can crash here, you know. You do know it's a shed, right? Not a house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Making sure. So recording space, Position running friends. water and electricity. Yeah. Usually one Very in important. Here. And I need something aesthetically. I mean, I usually go to coffee shops, you know, really like warm tones. Rustic wood, yes. hot brass. Exactly. Okay. Just something that's cozy. C cozy. This is definitely cozy. <laughs> I think we need to find a way to open this space <laughs> up. Yeah, it would be cool to have like a deck, actually. I love that. Do you have any thoughts on lighting? Any ideas on what you want to do in here? Uh, this is something cool, man. Something fun, you know? Uh, something yeah. musical. Your music he shed That's is right. going to be one of the coolest <laughs> things we've ever done. Cool. To fix Joey and Christine's current work environment, we'll need to transform Joey's dilapidated shack into the most badass music he shed anyone's ever seen. We'll start by replacing most of the missing walls and add plumbing to enable a living kitchen and bathroom area. 
We'll also soundproof this baby so Joey can rock out whenever inspiration hits him. But to ensure that this music he shed has the soul of rock and roll, we're gonna blow up that front wall and install an outdoor space that can be used for relaxing or stage diving. I also want to incorporate musical instruments into the furniture and custom design some unique lighting that screams rock and rollers only. I have $18,000 to work with in two weeks. It's doable, it'll just take some serious ingenuity, and I have plenty of that. Eat your heart out, Sarah. Music he shed. Today is uh, an awesome day. Today we start in the he shed. Look, I got my work shirt on here, and uh, I, don't, I don't know if they'll let me use this thing, but I'm ready. <laughs> Good to see you. It's construction day one on Joey's music he shed. This is Renee. Renee, Renee Luke. Luke. Nice, to nice to meet you. Pleasure. We're getting started with some good old fashioned demolition. We're gonna knock out the front wall of the shed and begin framing for a new set of huge glass doors. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> All right. Wait. Hey! Yo. Have you done many home improvement projects? Or? Oh yeah, I do them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Being a musician, construction is not necessarily in his wheelhouse, but he did a fantastic job working through it. Are you ready to rock? Brian, Texas! A new set of glass French doors will cost Joey just over $600, but it'll add tons of natural light and transform the front wall into a stage, so it's worth every penny. I'm ready to stage dive right now. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do? Hey, Christine. Oh yeah. my gosh. You took the whole wall down. Yes. All across America, people are pushing the boundaries of what they can do with their backyard sheds, transforming their ordinary shacks into very imaginative spaces. Right now, Joey and I are building our musical he shed where he can rock and roll all day and night so his wife can work from home in silence. And we're about to get our first opinion from our harshest critic. What did you guys do? So Christine walks out and she sees this massive hole. She's a little shocked. You took down the one good wall. Well, there's a little. Yes. But there is a method to the madness, Christine. If you can imagine French doors opening up onto a performance stage. That sounds, that sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you like it. I was really nervous for a second. Hi, Luke. Well, Sarah, my music shed is singing sweet, sweet melodies right now. Ugh. And the whole neighborhood can hear it, mainly because I knocked out a wall. You are an animal. Eat your heart out. Bye. Joey's by no means the first musician to turn his shed into a music studio. San Francisco musician John Tashak built his shed from the ground up for just over $10,000. The space is jam-packed with guitars, keyboards, microphones, mixers, and amplifiers. Even the light switches are music-themed. If you want to turn your shed into a studio, it's doable. Install soundproofing. It's remarkably affordable. A small room can be soundproofed for less than $500. Incorporate your instruments into the decor. Guitar hangers cost less than $20, and a wall full of instruments make it clear that this is a space for making music. Consider these storage alternatives, like a Retro Rack Deluxe Multi-Guitar Stand, or the Carousel Multi-Guitar Stand that can store up to 12 guitars in only three feet of space. It's a must-have if you like to shred in your shed. So every cool he shed needs a cool couch, and I think Wayfair.com is gonna have the one you need. So let's check it out. One of the coolest things about this side is they have so many different options of furniture. So I know for you, you talked about wanting something they could sleep on, something leather, and something that really matches that coffee shop vibe, and Wayfair.com is gonna have plenty of options in that same vein for us. Very cool. Yeah. These are some of the sleeper sofas they had. Any of these that you like? Uh, like this one and that one. Christine, I'd love to get your opinion on this. Well, this reminds me of Joey. I love the color of it. I love the style. It's the sleeper convertible that you guys need. Because I think this is the one. Add to cart. Perfect. Hurt. Back to work. OK. <laughs> <laughs> we got off to a great start by adding the upstairs viewing window. But the loft won't feel like a livable space until we make it comfortable and beautiful. This is so cool up here. It is, huh? Come Putting on, sister. Stars. Anna is a construction virgin, so I'm using click and lock flooring, which is a do-it-yourselfer's dream, unlike traditional flooring, which requires an expert installer with special tools. So we're saving hundreds of dollars in labor cost. 
Once we got started, I could not stop. This is so easy. Do the honors. Okay. Do the last piece. I mean, we're yes. not going to stop. If we're working into the night. Sarah and I worked our little butts off. Look at that. I love it. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome. Do you hear any drums? No drums. I hear peace. I love it. It's pretty amazing. It is. The shed movement is sweeping across the nation. Every day, shed owners are turning towards their backyards for their ultimate dream space. I'm in Texas with Joey, an avid musician with a musical dream of having his very own private rock and roll he shed where he can jam out 24 seven and no longer interfere with his wife's work from home environment. While I've been away accumulating more materials for the he shed, Joey and his contractor Renee have been following our plans and getting his he shed into he shape. Today, we have BCA electric, to install electricity. Plumbing crew from Twin City Plumbers. Hello. New roof put on, man. This is pretty amazing. Things are coming along, and uh, I'll be rocking out pretty soon. Hey, Joey. Hey, Luke. How's it going, man? Hey, so what do you think? I think like it's this. coming along great. <laughs> I got to see the inside. All right, man. Oh, man, Joey, this is awesome. <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> So now that I'm back, I've seen that there's a lot that's been done since I've been gone, which is fantastic, but it's still just a shed. Now that I'm here, I'm really excited to get my hands dirty and make it his music shed. You ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. So I was excited when Luke walks up with a guitar case and thinking like, hey, maybe he's bringing me a guitar or he wants to do a jam session. Do you know what this is? It's a guitar case. It is a guitar case. <laughs> I know you spent a lot of time working in coffee shops. I know it's a big deal for you to keep that vibe going with you, and that's something we're going to do in here. This is going to be your new coffee table. <laughs> Everything we need to make this table is right in here. So power drill. We got our brackets that have a little pitch to a little angle. I'll explain that why in a second. And some legs that we took off an old reclaimed table. So this project is actually going to be incredibly fast, simple, and inexpensive. That's a great idea. Well, let's get started on this thing, because I don't think it's going to take us that long. Most of Joey's $18,000 budget is going into structural repairs and utilities. But the guitar case and legs only cost 80 bucks. We got our brackets in place. Let's throw these legs on and see how we're doing. So we're saving money and making rocking designs. Awesome. Guitar case, coffee table, man. <laughs> man, what do you think? Should we just go set it in there and see how it looks? Yeah, let's bring it on in there. And to your case, you carry it. <laughs> I love the way the guitar case coffee table turned out. Anything you can repurpose into something new is just super cool. Some natural light coming in. We'll have the window here. Your inspiration's up on the wall. Cool. You happy? Let's rock on. Joey and I have already built our instrument-inspired coffee table. But I can't let Sarah outdo us with the she shed. So we're going to create an instrument-inspired coffee maker. Have you heard of pour over coffee? Oh, yeah. So it brings out some of the best natural flavors of coffee. And that's what this is. You put a filter in here. You put your grounds in it, water into it coffee mug underneath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The thing is, you need a platform, you know, for the coffee mug to go underneath. Yeah. Well, that's where this comes in. Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so we're going to turn this into your pour over coffee drip station. I see the, I see the vision. Uh, I like where this is going. A, a moment of silence before we do anything to this, because for the gods of rock. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. And now, <laughs> coffee, okay, no. yeah, perfect. <laughs> In order to transform this guitar body into a pour over coffee maker, we're gonna have to take out the pickups and the wiring. Once that's done, we'll drill a large circular hole for our pour holders with a cylindrical bit. And finally, we'll screw in some legs to give our cups some pour room. All these parts add up to about 200 bucks. Ta-da! All right, rock Dude. on. <laughs> that's cool. Let's go test this bad boy out. Make coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like coffee, too. Tastes like coffee? It's good. <laughs> Time to call it a night. All right, sounds good. But I'm, I'm, ta I'm taking this with me, by the okay. way. <laughs> I'll see you later, Joey. All right, man, have a great one. Leaves me with a mess. Luke and Joey have picked up the tempo, but back in California, Anna's been busy keeping her movie theater she shed on schedule. But there is a ton left to do. Hi, guys, this is Anna. I just wanted to give an update about the she shed. Today, we have our electricians here. We are just trying to get all the electrical stuff together. How long do you think it's going to take, Rennie? Are we going to be on time? Weeks and weeks. I don't even have a chance to relax on a Saturday afternoon. Today we have our contractor coming. We got the walls insulated. I think we're going to be able to lay the drywalls. And hopefully when Sarah comes back, we'll have 
all the things that she asks. Hi, Papa. Good morning. How do you feel that I'm getting a she shed? Well, I think you deserve it. Oh. You're already working this morning, so that's very exciting. Are you proud of us? No, not at all. I'm not no. proud of you at all. I've got nothing done. Of course I'm proud of you. Are you crazy? <laughs> Anna's made a lot of progress since I've been away, which gets us closer to finishing her cinema sanctuary where she can escape the sounds of her son and her drummer husband. Hey! So I want you to be able to utilize your space inside, and I want you to have furniture up in the loft that you can use when you're facing this way to view a movie outside, right? Uh-huh. But I also want you to be able to flip it and move it so that you can watch a movie inside. The only thing for us to do is for us to design it out and make it ourselves. You are kidding. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I really love the idea of spinning chairs. It will allow Anna to watch movies both inside and outside her she shed. But I can't just go buy them at the store. So Anna's contractor, Manny, is gonna help us create the chairs using my design. Don't you love my sketches? It's a structural Picasso. <laughs> exactly. So I'm thinking super important that it's really easy for this chair to move around. What about if we use like a lazy Susan mechanism? That would actually be perfect. The plus side is that we are going to help you. Awesome. Right. She just wants any excuse to use power tools. We're building the chairs out of furniture grade plywood panels which sell for about $25 a sheet. So all in, the materials to build these two chairs will cost us less than $300. Try the chair. Okay. There you go. Oh, look. I can cross my legs. Yes. I can sip. Yep. Movie outside, swivel, movie inside. The shed revolution is on. So many people are discovering the limitless potential of their outdoor sheds, finding endless new ways to transform a simple set of four walls into breathtaking new spaces. I'm in California with Anna, a multitasking mom who's looking for some she shed escape from her drummer husband and rambunctious son. We're giving her two-story shed the full movie makeover so she can finally relax and watch her movies in silence. After building out both the loft floor and door and getting started on custom seating, Anna has been hard at work continuing with our project. But Anna is a construction newbie, so she's learning as she goes, and she's got less than a week left to finish her she shed. I'm tired. I know you're tired. Instead of coming home after work and with your hammers and nails and stuff, well, why don't you let me do it for you? I can turn it into like a he shed. No! Oh, oh, no! So let me show you guys my cameraman. It's Jonathan. Say hi, Jonathan. Hey. Over here, we also have it's the deck. Finished. They disassembled this, this barn in Michigan. Then they brought the wood here, and now it's being used on my shed. How cool is that? Awesome. I hear work going on. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Hey. You guys are like working hard. Hold on. You know what these bad boys are? Thanks. Do you yeah. see how we're swiveling? That's right? right for our chair. Yes. We attach this bad boy to the bottom of it and watch I you spin love around. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm that? gonna get dizzy. Yeah. Manny! Look what I brought. Ooh. We're not joining the circus. Swivel. Swivels! Exciting, yes. right? These swivels have the same effect as a lazy Susan. Look at you go. Which will allow Anna to easily switch her view from inside to out. I mean, that's my girl right there with a simple spin. Do you feel like you're gonna puke yet? No. We're gonna get this scaffolding in here and then we're gonna put this beast up there. Oh, you guys, you help me. I'm doing all the work. Okay, go Manny. Go Manny, go. All right, here we are, up in the loft. Woohoo! My lady. Right. Have a seat in your, your coffee throne, please. I'm watching a movie. You're watching a movie? Eating popcorn. But there's a show on television. Oh. So go ahead. There's a TV on the wall, remember? I love this. It's cool, right? It's amazing. I know. I Indoor and outdoor viewing, all from the power of the same chair. Whee! I think she likes Whee! it. When I first stepped into Anna's shed, the small footprint seemed like a challenge, but a thoughtful renovation can turn any shed from cramped to cozy. Like this one from Canadian she shedder Nancy Hamilton. Welcome to my she shed. I needed my own space, some place just to go and find some refuge, um, be inspired, and uh, create. We decided to design this out of recycled material, and you can see 
the various reclaimed windows that we have used. This is a beautiful piece. Antique stained glass windows like Nancy used can cost over $1,000 but you can get a similar look with stained glass panels, which typically cost less than $200 online. I got the wood at a mill that reclaims wood. Believe it or not, reclaimed wood can be twice as expensive as new materials, but it has a rustic charm that can't be duplicated. It's about being cozy and surrounded by beautiful things. It's a she shed, get over it, say it, she shed. Back in Texas, Joey's been making great progress on his music themed he shed. Things continue here. I'll show you this uh, stage that's been laid out. Ta -da! I'm gonna show you a small oversight on our part. It's all the rubble from the shed. This is our trash hauling solution. I am in the middle of hauling the trailer. Not everything goes as planned. I borrowed the trailer from Diamond Dave and discovered this, so oh, no. But you gotta go with the flow. I did get my friend Lewis here with the pickup truck. Well, Joey's been hard at work getting rid of the wood that can't be salvaged. I've been collecting a few more musically themed items that will crank up the volume on this e-shed. I come bearing gifts. Oh, awesome. They look like uh, <laughs> symbology. I like his style, because it's kind of what we're going for here. Awesome. Remember that uh, project I told you about how I wanted to do some kind of cool lighting fixture? Yeah. This is it. <laughs> okay. So Luke shows up with all these pipes, wires. He's got light bulbs, symbols, chucks it on the table. And I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> what does he have in store here, you know? We have lots of piping, and we can use these to connect all our symbols and bend them and make them a different shape. So we're kind of over layer them, kind of like the, like the Olympic rings, how they kind of over layered. But think of that bent all back together. And then we'll put the lights in there. So some lights will reflect off the top and out, and some will reflect off the bottom. Cool. When I feel the inspiration, I could just uh, hit a light. Hey, man. Right? Or... It's probably a bad idea, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a cool, crazy idea. When you walk into the doors of that he shed, you see those symbols there, you will know beyond shadow of a doubt that it is a music-themed he shed. So what we're gonna need to do is have a wire running through maybe like a central tube, and then these will, the wire will come out to each one of these. So we've got to do some custom wiring here. Let's see, green is ground, black is hot, white is neutral. We'll have to connect these together. All right, so pretty much making sure that we don't have any electrical wires going straight onto metal especially without them being grounded. So we want the symbol light to be an illuminating experience, not an electrifying experience. <laughs> I think the project is gonna be even better than it was now and a lot safer. I would love to see this come together by the next time I'm back here. I'm really excited about this symbol light idea and not just because it's inexpensive. The symbols are about 300 bucks. Bulbs, pipes, and wiring, another 100. So if you think about it, $400 for a custom light fixture is an amazing deal. And this symbol chandelier will mark this shed as Joey's musical territory. Well, I'm a little bit busy. I'm gonna leave you guys to it, mainly because I heard Christine's got margaritas inside. All right. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time, guys. Second. I'll let her know you guys want one. Back here in California, I'm about to spill the beans on how to make a literal coffee counter for our movie She Shed. This is a lot of coffee beans, okay? So what I'm thinking is we have this really cool lip of a countertop, okay. and we're gonna scatter the beans over, make them level, right? Uh -huh. And then pour an epoxy over so that it looks like coffee beans, coffee like beans. an ice almost. Oh, I'm so appreciative, I love that. There you go. Okay. He looks super hot right now. <laughs> Oh, wow, it smells so strong. The key ingredient to this countertop is epoxy. Epoxy is a clear liquid resin that hardens quickly once it's exposed to the air. So we're gonna pour down a thin layer of epoxy. All right, let's go to it. Cover that with a bed of coffee beans. You wanna know what temperature Luke likes his coffee at? Luke, lukewarm. Lukewarm. Much like his sheds. Once that's done, we'll add our final layer of epoxy. We'll let it harden, sit overnight, and in the morning, we'll have our countertop. All in, this coffee countertop cost us just over $350 to make, which is a fraction of the cost of traditional stone. What do you think about this incredible countertop? This is amazing. People are redefining what a shed can become, and their ideas continue to become bigger and bolder. There are no limits to what you can do in your backyard. 
The last time I saw Joey, we were assembling his custom crash cymbal lighting system for his music he shed. And the last time I saw Anna, we finished installing her cinema she sheds, custom balcony seating, and coffee counter. Our shed owners have to continue with their build plans even while we're away. We've made a, a good bit of progress. So we discovered in our shed that it had hardwood floors. So we are going to sand them down and refinish them. Sarah has left Jason and I with a big project. We are actually gonna paint. This is the color that Sarah picked for the shed. Look at this, how pretty. It's such a vivid red color. Hey, this is pretty big. We're getting HVAC. Hey, so the cabinets came in today and they look awesome. We got granite countertops going into the he shed. Sarah gave me these instructions that I need to get coffee bags. And so she says she's gonna incorporate them in the design. I'm so excited to see what she's gonna do. It's definitely becoming a he shed. The record wall is coming together. Pretty work now, right? Building some shelves. Hanging the shelves, okay. Yeah, it's putting the mud on the walls. We're burning the midnight oil or something like that. Okay, I gotta go back to work. Thanks. Hi, everyone, this is Anna. I'm super excited today. We just got our projector. Wow, what? It's amazing. Hey, Sarah, final day. It's almost time to celebrate. Uh, it's a little early to start celebrating, don't you think, Luke? I mean, if you think your shed's gonna beat mine, you are dreaming. Sarah, if you think your shed's gonna be better than mine, you are not only as crazy as I thought you were, but you are California dreaming. Ha, you're funny, Luke. Listen, I'm at Anna's, I gotta get going. Bye, get off your phone, go fix your hair. Hi, Hi Sarah. Hi. Yeah, Luke, how are you, man? You go, I want you to go, okay. and I'm gonna call you when everything's ready. After all their hard work, we're giving our shed owners a deserved day off while we add the final layer that takes these projects over the top. So cool, right? Joey and Anna worked hard over several weeks to get their sheds done. This is the first time they'll see their sheds finished and furnished. And we've got a few surprises up our sleeves as well. It's a little things. A couple of weeks ago, I met Joey, a Texas musician with a music studio in his house. Unfortunately, that studio shared the same space as his wife Christine's home office, which led us to Joey's shed, or what was left of his shed. Joey put down his guitars, and we took on the most daunting, difficult he shed ever. We blew up the shed's front wall and added glass doors that open onto a performance stage and patio. Then Joey and I built guitar-inspired furniture so the musical vibe is front and center. And we topped it all off with a one-of-a-kind cymbal chandelier. This music he shed should set the standard for all future musicians looking to find the ultimate creative space in their own backyards. Joey! Joey, get out of here, man! Whoa, dude! This is awesome, dude! <laughs> oh, man! Sweet! This is you, this is all the hard work you've done. And so get in there, man, go enjoy your all he right. shed. Hey, the symbol there! <laughs> wow, that looks great in here. Oh, this is awesome. Yes! Yes, I've got space to move. Love this monitor. This is awesome. I don't have to set up in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> got my coffee bar, the J coffee bar. Sweet. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah! I love this record wall. You talked about inspiration. Yes. This is the start, and then your finish is gonna be over here now. That's right. With your brand new kind of state-of-the-art media this system so you can record. Is awesome. It's cool, right? <laughs> yeah. That table, the like the industrial look on the legs, the awesome sofa with the color I love. Yeah, we got that on Wayfair. This is a kitchenette extraordinaire, man. <laughs> this is awesome. You can thank Renee for this because she wanted to make sure that everyone that comes here knows this is yours right here. And just like every house I've ever been in, you gotta leave a housewarming gift, so nice. that's for you for later. <laughs> just like the pour over coffee is a one of a kind, we did something else that was really one of a kind. Our symbol chandelier. So we use real symbols to yes. bring out the natural light in here. Sure. And I say bring out the natural light, which is my favorite thing about the whole shed, the big front door. Yes. In the mornings, <laughs> you can invite Christina here, you guys can have coffee on your table, you can jam outside, get a little more inspiration, a little more nature going on. Serenader in the morning. Oh man, you can do whatever <laughs> you want, this is yours. Man, I freaking love my 
why he said it is I, i'm i'm honestly blown away <laughs> if i wake up at three in the morning and i want to pull out my electric amp and rock out i can go for it, it gives me what i need it gives my wife what she needs Oh my gosh, that is awesome. He could come and rock out in this space and I won't be shushing him. Yeah. So I know it was important for you guys to have musician friends come in town and stay with you and you guys wanted a bathroom and a shower. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's sweet. It's like a boutique hotel bathroom. I think that you might walk outside in your skivvies just to use the bathroom. Do you think? You guys are jamming, you're having a good morning. <laughs> Joey's made you some beautiful coffee with his one of a kind pour over guitar the coffee, coffee station. Is warm this morning. See, I'm just in the way now, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Look right up there. Three, two, one, boom! Awesome. Now everybody knows you're working. Leave me alone. Yeah. The inspiration's flowing. Yeah. Stay out the stay way. Right. I'm inspired, man. I'm well, inspired. You won't have to leave the he shed for anything. You could stay there literally for days. I might miss you. <laughs> I can just walk out our back door into your he shed and come visit you whenever I miss you, whenever I want to hear. Not if the recording light's on. True. <laughs> <laughs> Luke has unveiled his music-themed he shed, and I can't wait to raise the curtain on Anna's brand new cinema she shed. When I first met Anna, I discovered a struggling cinephile who couldn't find a moment's peace between her drumming husband and rambunctious 12-year-old son. So we decided to turn her backyard shed into a movie multiplex. Anna and I got started by turning the storage loft into a viewing balcony, making use of her backyard screen. Then we built custom chairs for the loft that rotate so she can watch movies on her outdoor screen or swivel around and watch inside as well. And then we finished the she shed with the ultimate coffee bar. We started with a double decker storage shed and created movie magic. Anna, we yes. made it. We yes. did it. Yes. You hey. know what time it is, don't you? It's show time. Oh. Follow me. Okay. Oh my. Sarah! You know what time it is, don't you? It's show time. Oh. Follow me. Okay. incredible. Check this out. You're VIP today, Miss Anna. No more lawn chairs in the yard for Anna. Now she's got proper stadium seating for outdoor movie viewing. And then a concession stand. You get yourself a snack and then have a seat. And watch a movie. Because you watch the movie. Sarah created this outdoor seating area and it definitely goes way above my expectations. And look, a new movie is playing. This is really sweet when your family's out here watching a movie, right? Right. But let's yes. really talk about why we did this she shed. It's for you. You love watching movies. It's your escape. Right. It's your therapy. So I'm going to let you go in. Oh, my goodness. And my coffee. I have a coffee station. Yeah, we got that on Wayfair. What do you think? I love it. I got a ticket. You got a ticket. Isn't this great? You're looking drop shed gorgeous here, you know? Anna's photo, inspired by breakfast at Tiffany's, is a beautiful personalization element to Anna's she shed. Excuse me, coffee at Anna's? That's right. I coffee love it. Do you love it a latte? <laughs> the she shed is so amazing. Sarah took it above and beyond my expectations. Anna, my love, this is not just a movie poster. The flip out TV downstairs is proof that she sheds can have gadgets too. I can't believe it. Isn't it so cool? <laughs> it is too cool. Let's check out upstairs. Okay. Hidden ladder straight up to the loft. We gave Anna custom built swiveling chairs, perfect for her loft so that she could watch movies inside or swivel around and view movies outside. Check this out. How cool is this? Right? Whoa. In your cozy nook. Now that I have my movie She Shed, I can escape the banging of the drums and just sit out there and relax. So let's get the boys, don't you think? Yes, let's get them. Jason, Jonathan, come and see. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. 
I'm in the VIP right? section. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm in the VIP, ooh. Welcome yeah. to Anna's Backyard yeah. Theater. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool, right? I like this. I could have never imagined it would look no. this cool when it was first being built. Oh. Anna needed a space to get away. And she also wanted a space that she could bring her boys in. I'm still and you guys confident watch I movie. could put a drum set, small one, in. I am still confident that you're going to lose this argument. The hardest part about renovating on a she shed was keeping it cozy and comfortable for her, but also giving her a space that her husband and son could feel comfortable into when they're invited. Check this out. Are you That's kidding that. me? I'm so glad you're happy with my she shed. Well, you I know, if you it. just cover the S, then it says he shed. I was thinking when you start the previews on the sitting back and relaxing and chilling out and eating popcorn and watching a movie. Let's call your friends and get them over here. Let's, Let's do, do it. On his backyard up. movie theater. Come on down, guys. Welcome. Come check it out. Go <laughs> I'll play she shed. Thank you. Cool, right? No. There's just everywhere you look, there's something yeah. extravagant just like yeah. jumping out at you. The TV's gotta be. That, that's just cool how that TV flips out. That is really neat. It's awesome. I want one for Christmas. You know, I think this shed is going to have a huge impact on us. You know how we like loud. <laughs> Anna could not be any happier right now. The woman has got popcorn in one hand and a coffee in the other. And she has this place to watch a movie. It doesn't get any better than that for Anna. Hey, Sarah. What are you doing? We took this music thing way over the top. We built them everything from a tiny amplifier that we turned into a refrigerator for them, down to a coffee table made from a guitar case, and a coffee maker made from a guitar. You went ahead and just put the cherry on top with that um, symbol light fixture, that chandelier. It's really, really cool. But listen, let us not forget the challenges that have been overcome here in Honest. Because her shed appears to have much more space from the outside than it does once you're inside. That is definitely a place I could see myself watching a flick. But based on the fact that I've never, ever seen this before, you put two stories into a tiny shed. I've never seen that happen before. I got to say, I think this week you took it. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Did you just say I won? Both homeowners wanted a place they could entertain, and I think we gave them just that. Great job. Listen, the movie's starting. They're like flashing the lights. I got to go. Well, speaking of entertainment, I'm going to go enjoy some myself, so I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.